but in the Americas. And the descendants of these indigenous communities are still here today. It's still time to come on out, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be really entertained by the biggest grand entry here in Kinder, Louisiana. Man, Some, like the Tunica Biloxi tribe in Marksville and the Cushata tribe in Kinder, are federally recognized as sovereign nations within the territorial United States. You know, a lot of times, people, they really don't realize there's an Indian tribe here. There's four federally recognized within the state of Louisiana. Down here in the corner of Southwest Louisiana is the Cushata people. And a lot of times that's just forgotten. And mostly because people are just unaware. We'll also bring in our ladies categories and all that category. We'll explain it all. We really try to push our culture. We, we just recently had our Cushata powwow, which really put it on display when you have tribes from all over the country coming in. Definitely, if you haven't been to a powwow, try and go to one. They have amazing food, love the music, really, really interesting dancing. You're in your traditional regalia. You're showing your colors. It's just a fun time to come out and celebrate your culture. People think of Cushada and they think of our business down the road, casino. However, just a few miles away, the birthplace of the Cushada tribe is right here. I'm in Elton, Louisiana, the home of the Cushada tribe with Chief Jonathan Cernick. Chief, uh, not a lot of people in Louisiana are going to believe that we have a buffalo herd right here in our state, but we do. That's right, right here in uh, the corner of Allen Parish. We actually have had these buffalo for close to two decades now. How many are there? Uh, we have a herd of over 20 now that were actually a gift to us from a tribe in Oklahoma. Uh, started the herd. The herd has grown into what it is today. You have some native-born buffalo here we in Louisiana? We have some native <laughs> buffalo right here. <laughs> We're so proud of them. Matter of fact, we built a gas station convenience store to showcase the Buffalo Run. Buffalo Run. Opened in 2016. Live buffalo viewing patio in the back. Uh, Kusadi Cultural Center inside that displays all of our um, handmade Kosati basket. And you haven't yet put an EAUX on the end of Buffalo. Not yet, not yet, but if we go up uh, I-10, you never know, because that's Cajun country. <laughs> that's <right. laughs> the Homa Indians date back to at least 1686, when they settled in the area of Baton Rouge and near the current site of the Angola prison. Eventually, Homa tribe members migrated to Lafouche and Terrebonne, thus the name of the parish seat. And Native American names remain important pages of any Louisiana dictionary. Centuries ago, this very spot marked the dividing line between the hunting grounds of the Homa Indians and the Bayagula Indians. A cypress stick, a bloody cypress stick, marked that dividing line. French explorers sailing up the Mississippi River saw that bloody red stick and named this place Le Baton Rouge. The Baton Rouge Bicentennial Commission erected this sculpture by the late Frank Hayden to commemorate that sighting of the bloody red stick and the naming of Baton Rouge. Even the Mississippi River itself has a respectful Indian name. The word Mississippi is generally translated as father of waters. So it's a beautiful word, and I think every school child realizes how fun it is to spell and that you could almost see the sinuous channels of the river as you ride it. 